Hey, Zach here from digitalconstructive.com and today we're going to be talking about how to pass your C45 license exam. Now the C45 sign installation contractor license exam is going to be broken up into a few different sections, including planning and estimating, sign design and fabrication, sign installation, testing, maintenance, and troubleshooting, and safety. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the C45 license, you should watch our previous video where we break this license down in detail. Today, we're just going to be focusing on the examination. Now, as is the case with all California contractor licenses under the C specialty, you'll also have to pass the CSOB Law and Business Exam, and that'll include sections covering business organization, business finances, employment requirements, bonds, insurance, and liens, contract requirements and execution, licensing requirements, public works, and there'll be a section on safety. So essentially, you'll need to pass two tests, 115 questions covering law and business and 115 questions covering signs. It's going to be multiple choice, closed book. You'll get three hours to complete each section. It's a computerized exam that you'll need to go and take at a CSLB testing facility. So if you're applying from out of state, just know that you will need to come to California to take the exam. Now, we have a free guide that breaks the entire licensing process down from A to Z. There's sample questions, how to fill out the application correctly, pretty much everything you need to know. You can download that in the top right-hand corner. Now, the sign installation specialty portion of your exam is going to be extremely critical. You're going to be tested on a wide-ranging area of topics, including analyzing plans and specifications. You'll need to be familiar with electrical theory, California electrical code, sign face fabrication and installation, sign criteria and codes, building sign installation, excavation and concrete footings, pole and monument sign installation, sign testing and troubleshooting, Cal OSHA safety regulations, transportation and traffic control, and then of course electrical hazards. Now there's a lot more that's going to be on this test, but this is just a snapshot of what you need to be prepared to answer questions based on. Now, the mathematics that you want to be familiar with going into your signed contractor license exam are obviously going to include your arithmetic. You'll need to be familiar with addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. You need to be able to calculate square footage. Uh, you'll need to understand percentages and decimals, electrical theory, Ohm's law, Watt's law to a certain degree. And then, of course, job costing and estimation will be a huge portion of the exam, too. Now, when it comes to preparing for your California contractor license exam, obviously 50% of the test is law and business, and there's a lot of different areas under uh, law and business that you'll need to be familiar with. So make sure that you take the time to understand and see all the possible questions that could come up. You need to be tight on your trade-specific fundamentals, obviously. So you'll want to see all of the possible questions covering all the different topics that are going to be found on your trade exam. And then California Health and Safety Codes. California takes workers' safety, job site safety, environmental safety, workers' rights extremely seriously. So they always represent a significant portion of the exam. And then obviously fundamental math skills. Make sure that you're able to get through math-related questions quickly. Know the common equations and formulas. Uh, just make sure that your math skills are tight going into this. And then obviously test taking experience, timed exams with flashcards and not only questions and answers, but answer explanations that give you context as to why the questions are correct and incorrect are extremely helpful. And then obviously walkthroughs of the exam with licensed contractors are invaluable. And then of course lawyers also who are going to help you understand and decipher the different language, um, getting insight from a licensed contractor who's passed this test multiple times and holds several different classifications. It's invaluable valuable knowledge. You're not only getting insight on how to pass the test, but how to run a profitable business in California also. Now, all of this is included with our C45 license course. I uh, just want to thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Like and subscribe to our channel. Again, my name is Zach from digitalconstructive.com and thank you so much for watching.